Hey there folks, welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Mysterious JG. I keep feeling like I want to do a, uh, you know, start singing another cowboy song, broken up, you know, different uh, verses between videos, but it's actually a bit on the late side, so let's not disturb the neighbors. I'll have to come up with a cowboy song for another day. For now, let's continue following around the hateful servant. We're not having that many, like, super challenging plot missions. I mean, we're having a lot of challenges not accidentally murdering people or pulling a gun on somebody that we just got done giving health potion to. Health potion. Or tonic, as it might be known. But these plot missions seem to consist a lot of just wandering around doing things in the sequence the game wants you to. Okay. Now it's just down to get into the ledger. So I seem to have fulfilled my mission here. Ah, I got... Well, even if you didn't have the uh, stuff that you got from the fence for... You probably still see him do that. Oh man, is that SCI or SAP information? But stupid. Just when you thought... Leviticus Cornwall wasn't going to be a major part of the story. You got the cities and you're dead. Man gives and gives you provided, blah blah blah. Okay. <laughs> so basically, he's like a super rich and influential dude. And we're probably going to end up fighting against him with the extremely untrustworthy and unpleasant Italian guy who will at some point almost certainly either betray us or we'll end up betraying him. We will we will end up fighting against that guy. Although I shouldn't predict stuff because Rockstar Games do have a bad habit of... Well, not bad necessarily, but they do have a habit of Creating these characters, you seem like they're going to be really important, and then you don't end up doing anything with them. Or they just have, like, one minor showdown with somebody that seemed like it was going to be a long-term objective to get them. Like, uh... Grand Theft Auto 4 had a lot of that. I guess I'm... Making too much of it as being a big rock star thing. That was a huge thing in Grand Theft Auto 4. Introducing a character as though they were going to be massively important, and then... Not really doing anything with him. Okay. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think, gentlemen, I think we're done. I can't here. believe Bill Williamson wasn't able to ingratiate himself with the socialites in a way that was profitable. There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank, real one, I mean, but not yet. A city bank, maybe, and a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station, Senor Bronte. Told we got a whole bunch of different big, big uh, missions we could be doing here. Game. Come on. Oh, Casino Royale. Aren't we? Get our guns back, please. Thank you. Here comes Lenny. All right. I was expecting to Let's need my in. guns in that servant trailing on. mission. I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. I'm not used well, to being pleased. High society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Okay. Here's them papers. A little I weird. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. That someone did that. see you take this. Dun, dun, dun. I didn't realize how close I was to finishing that uh, last story mission, or I would have let the last video go a little long instead of a little short. But whatever. It's all going to come out in the wash. Everything will turn up. Prithia or Prithia. I'm sure. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2, no doubt, 
moving towards a happy, happy ending for all. <laughs> Whoa, did our clothes just phase in around Interesting us? Interesting times. <laughs> Was this like Final Fantasy 13 2 did, did we just have our schoolgirl outfit transform into some kind of even flashier, weirder outfit? Actually, it just made Final Fantasy thirteen two sound even weirder, weirder, themier, and more Sailor Mooney than it actually is. Yes. So what's next? Dancing lessons, deportment, more along the lines of armed robbery. Well, Jose I like is that. handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are going to run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. We they found one of the weaknesses of the Indians. It turns out they're ticklish. On the river boat. A lot of money. Well, at least their leader, Engine Joe, is. He's the super he chief. Him the Sorry. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. Any chances will backfire, sir? Terribly. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm Smells gonna go like investigate Chogobos. this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Now, wait a second. Now, didn't we rob a bank earlier and, like, our lives didn't really get any better at all? Well, whatever. The Gilded Cage. Okay, uh, there we go. Pour some drinks, compliment a guest's attire, accept a gift, and save a life. Okay, so we missed party content. We did pour drinks. We did not compliment a gift, accept a gift, and save a life. Well, that's too bad. I suppose we could redo the mission. Uh, tell me in the comments if you want me to redo this mission. I'm thinking none of those things were really all that exciting. Hey, it's my dad, Lyle Morgan Larceny. P -p -p Patty Larceny, my dog. My dog! <laughs> what up, Nintendo? There's a clipping somewhere about our first robbery. A zoological compendium. This game makes it difficult for you to figure out what the hell is going on. The Badger. You know what? You can, um, there's probably all sorts of hilarious stuff in there, but I don't know why we are taking any of it along. You can pause and read this if you are so inclined. I did not bother to flip it. Who knows what kind of exciting stuff is there if you flip it. Now I can't bring myself to leave without flipping it. Okay. We flipped it. Alright. Well, I sure wish I had successfully... Uh, ow. Ow. Not a bad day to throw yourself to your doom. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of dumb. Um, I see something for that health core. We'll get our health back automatically over time by eating corned beef. So we can continue the story with Mary Beth. She needs to speak with us. Otherwise, yeah, we got some new missions that popped up over here. A stranger mission that will drive the story, oddly enough, and Trelawney's been investigating the river boats. Oh, interesting. But stupid. Um... I mean, at some point, I'd like to go explore some of these zones we haven't been to, but 
We're actually doing a good job of following the main story in the last couple of videos. Kind of want to keep that going, too. Whatever we need to do with Mary Beth was available before uh, we did this mission, so I'm thinking... Oh, you know what? There's probably all sorts of cool shit we can get over here, because I don't raid the health supplies that often. Fine, thanks, and how are you? We really just don't need it. Even if I could just clearly replace it whenever. You okay, boy? Hey, it's an actual named dog. I didn't know we had a named dog. Aww. That's nice. Dog that wandered into our camp and Dutch named it. Kane! Kane is here! All right, Mary Beth, what's your deal? Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how you got are a you mission for us? Fine. No, no, we're thrice no. Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. so, well, technically no true. Regrets. regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, Life is very scary. Well, I'm a maniac. You I've been imprisoned by drug dealers and codenamed Viper. It's going to have to avoid me or I shoot me as I jump around in the right after drug Mama lab stages. Prison. That was a long time ago. Maniac, you know. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I I'm heard you named to that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? I'm okay. Okay. thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Her it was her fault. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, you're, she put a lot of good years best. in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Well, I'm Mr. reading Morgan. Dianetics Mr. right Mr. now. Morgan, we have a problem. For real problem, it's Tilly. What? See, once again, you go off and you talk to, like, because the same thing happened with Molly. It's like, Molly needs to speak with you. And I was like, oh, I wonder what quest we'll have involving Molly. And it's like, it has nothing to do with Molly. <laughs> You're just talking to Molly and you get interrupted with some other storyline. And I think the same thing's about to happen here. She's been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along. The Foreman brothers? Well, what you're going on here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Dying. Yep. Sure. Cool. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? None of the other ladies want to help Tilly? Just get going. I guess it's a terrible thing to assume, but I figured maybe Lenny and Tilly were supposed to be an item, because they're your, you know, you're kind of your two African-American characters. Uh, eh, whatever, I guess it's just me and Mrs. Braithwaite. Or whatever. Gr Grimshaw. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. Well, we're gonna go to Rhodes first. When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. Now I'm telling you. I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh yes. What do they want with I thought her they anyway? hated each other. Why would she? I saw mind? one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened. She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. She's actually Miss Jackson if you're nasty. She was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate And if they touched a hair not on her head, well, never mind. You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. So, 
some just require a firmer hand than others. You were fish. I like a lover with the slow anyway, hand. Talking to folks disappear. I'm gonna Did use my powers to make you disappear. Uh oh. Okay. I think that's the place up ahead. Oh shit, well we went too fast. We missed our dialogue. There's a guard. I'll deal with him. Yep. She was saying something about Kiernan going missing. Well, that's a story event that could be pretty important. Since uh, we keep thinking he's going to betray us to this other gang. And yep. I guess we're not going to try to sneak up. What you want? What you want? What you want? We're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said. It. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Can I, can I search him first? I'll take that. Oh, she took a shotgun. Oh, I don't have my horse anyway, so I'm stuck with whatever. Stuck with whatever weapons we I do have on me because we rode that wagon here. Jeez, lady. I was gonna say shoot the. Go find her before they put a bullet in her head. I was going to say, uh... Quick, Arthur! You probably heard us! Well, I... I'm going to keep your ears on a necklace! What the hell you think you're doing? Goddamn bastard! What the hell is going on? Yeah, no, I see a... What the hell, game? Come on, I'm trying... Trying desperately to, uh... It's okay. I'm not gonna get a gold score when I got shot twice, but I'm trying to push the button. That, whatever. There was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. And what you think is not important, oh, Tilly. On, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Including oh, us. Worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, the one in front of the bar. Bring him back alive. I ain't got one of them. All right, get after them. It's okay. There, straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. Oh, look. Look at these cowards! They're heading down the hill to the water. That girl owes us. Does she? There they are by the shoreline. Can we just kill those two already? Come on, we've got them now. Supposed to catch them alive, this she said. Apparently you don't get to use the dead eye with a lasso, which makes sense, I suppose. She said to catch him alive. I'm trying to do that.
Yeah, I don't know if I actually get to, um... I guess we don't get to... Oh, there's different ones we get to... Maybe there's a plot one that we get to take alive, but... That was an awful lot of time wasted on that, because apparently that was not what we were supposed to be doing. So we're going to get a terrible score on this mission. Okay, now I'm suddenly going to be allowed to lasso. Well, why don't I go get her ride on the back of the horse, then? She can shout all sorts of stuff about how tiny his wiener is, or whatever it is you want to do before you kill this guy. Yeah, okay, they were definitely immune. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Not like that one racist guy that you tied up real shitty so he's able to escape from death. Go on, dress him up. Yeah, I, I got it, Lady Jesus. But as you can see, the uh definitely was a plot last time. It was a head over there now to check she's okay. It was a plot lassoing because you were able to use dead eye to do it. Just... Nope. We won't be needing it. Nope. Of course, in Alabama, the Appaloosa. Let's go. We got a long, long ride because I misunderstood the nature of this mission. What you're getting into? Apparently, I didn't get, let him get far enough into his speech. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. And he's not a good speller. Who are you running with? Oh, shit. Funny bastard. Who are you running with, damn coward? All right, all right, damn it. Oh man, no, I didn't mean to actually cut off the dialogue. I thought it'd be funny if he, like, cycled through it repeatedly. Okay, so we just lost even more dialogue. Hey, but we're bonding with this horse we'll never use again, so that's awesome. I suppose in theory this Appaloosa might be a really good horse. Oh, and here we are, getting even more map exploration here in the beautiful plains of Dite. Oh, we're north of Rhodes. Okay. Oh. Let's not... Yeah, let me say, I'm, I'm just trying to prevent that horse. We're on the same side here. As far as not riding to our deaths, being what we're hoping for. See, somehow these big... Like that tree stump out in the middle of nowhere... Feels like a clue from like on the hidden treasure maps, but Off here a little bit. Could sell this horse for money too. We have the uh, horse fence now. But yeah, big long trip back because we uh, let that mission go way too long because of a fundamental misunderstanding of what we were supposed to be doing supposed to be killing these guys and then the plot would tell us when it was time to stop and start capturing right. people alive. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground. Well, you here. could do that. I mean I wanna get a good look at this monster. 
Jeez, Miss Grimshaw, you treat them women like shit until it's time to treat a man like shit, and then that sort of takes over it for you, doesn't it? So he's still alive then? Well, yeah, that was the the yes. point. Did you see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, revenge is a fool's game. It's a mug's game, now, mate. You want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History. Just is don't done. shave my beard. I want to be a Wookiee like you. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Oh, another morality decision here. Well, D Tilly Isn't said no. Off? All right, you. Let's I mean, get isn't you Tilly home. the one who should be deciding? He's Mr. Yeah. Trump's bloodthirsty. Now get out of here. I mean, well, that Appaloosa seemed pretty fast, so I might want to hold on to it. Well, we know full well if we try to get details from it here, it's not going to work, so. We did not have 90% accuracy. Oh, well. Let's see if we can get this horse to a uh, stable. It seems like there should be one nearby. Yeah, we're like in town. You'd think there'd be one in town, but... Uh, there is not. There is a horse fence up here, I believe. Regular old stable is farther away. Yes, probably the fastest way to stable this horse is up here. Jeez. That leaves us with a long way to go to get back to, uh... Oh, no, wait. I, we purchased a stable here. Yeah, we purchased a stable for our own, uh, base. So we should be able to, uh, stable this horse without getting rid of our, uh, DLC horse. Well, DLC horse is always going to be respawnable, because we proved that by getting one killed. Maybe it's my imagination, but the Appaloosa does seem faster. And it's these, like a Dalmatian horse. I'm tiring it out pretty good running at this base. how its horse health meter uh, turns into like a horse skull when its uh, health is depleted. Is there yeah. an animal over there? I'm not sure. Almost not quite got thrown there. Your bonus bank robbery mission is available at whatever. I don't know what a bonus bank robbery mission entails, but uh. Whoa, easy. Pitching the horse here count as saving it, I wonder. Is that close enough to the horse stable? I mean, that's a hitching post. Well, I guess we'll find out next time when we find out whether or not we actually keep the horse this way. 
I haven't actually done a manual save in this entire session up until now. So I'm not clear on what they mean by bonus bank robbery mission. That would imply that it won't advance the plot as all the other bank robbery missions have. But, um, well, we might see what it's about next time. Well, I'm Serious JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Oh, hope you join me next time for more Red Dead Redemption 2.